So let me tell y'all a story about a situation that, that um, you know, kind of bothered me a little bit, man. And I just want to get your opinion on it. It was a, uh, a group of young ladies, you know what I'm saying? All three of them were friends. And so um, two of them got pick, picked to be a part of um, a little school uh, competition or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It involves academics. And so... Um, two of the three friends you know that got picked to be a part of it one of the friends won first place the other friend won second place all right the third friend didn't even compete wasn't even chosen to be a part of it so i went looking because i heard that you know two of the young ladies won first and second place and i was like oh snap so i went looking for them i found them and when i found them they were uh, both sitting there with their ribbons on, with their first first place ribbons on and second place ribbons or whatever, and um, they were, um, you know, had their hand on their friend's back, and the friend had had her head down, crying. So I'm like, hold on, what's? I'm like, you know, I went over there. What's up? I was like, man, congratulations, man, good job, y'all did y'all thing, and they was like, shh, it was like. So I'm like, what, 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 what? Y'all won. What am I, what am I quiet for? And he was like pointing down. Like, and I'm like, so I thought about it. I was like, okay, if I keep on, am I being insensitive? And then I thought about it and I was like, no, I'm not going to stop congratulating y'all because she's crying. And they like, well, why are you doing that? I was like, because y'all won. Both of y'all got victories. And if this is your friend... Your friends should be happy for y'all. But instead, she's so wrapped up in herself to where she can't look outside of herself. I didn't get picked. Y'all got picked. Not only did y'all get picked, but y'all won. So your friend can't celebrate with y'all? What kind of friend is that? See, you know, I, I just came to a conclusion a, 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 a little minute ago because I can remember because I would experience stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I lost friends behind stuff like this. You know, um, I got a victory. Something great happened in my life or whatever. And, you know what I'm saying? Folks, stop fooling with me. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm like, hold on. Well, I got a victory going on. Something good happened for me. Why are my friends not happy for me? And then I realized something. Your friends going to celebrate your victories. Anything that great that, that's great that happened for you, your friends should be totally, because at the end of the day, if something great happened for you, it happened for you. And the Bible says, rejoice with them that rejoice. So if you got something good happen for you and you rejoicing, and I don't rejoice with you, I'm going against God's word. So even if that little spirit of jealousy, because all of us, we did that little spirit of jealousy get to messing with us and tampering us. You know, when something good happened for, happened for somebody, we that little spirit of jealousy get on us like, dang, man, why it didn't happen for me? All that be going on on the inside. But you got to get outside of that. Look outside of yourself and you're like, well, they, they, you know, they, they young. They don't know no better. They got to learn better. They got to be taught better. So for me to step back and say, oh, my God. I just celebrate y'all later. I will be being insensitive to them little girls on their victory. So anyway, with that being said, you know, once I begin, because I talked about it while the little girl was sitting there crying. And you want to know what she did? She got her little head up, dried off her little face, and she got, the, got her little attitude together because she recognized and realized, you know what? That is true. I'm so wrapped up in myself right now, I ain't even celebrating my friends. With that being said, man, I want to encourage you, man. Next time something great happened for somebody, celebrate them. Encourage them. Tell them congratulations. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, when something great happened for you, you want somebody to be excited for you. You want somebody to be happy for you. I, I'm tired of, you know what? I'm tired of great things happening for me, and I keep it on the low. I don't say nothing. It's been times, man, stuff happened for me, and I'm scared to pick up the phone, man. I'm scared to call somebody because I'm like, you know what? If I call them and tell them, you know, uh, you know, they, they, they might not be happy for me. Nah, forget that, man. I'm going to 
Hey man, let me tell you what happened with me, man. Blah blah blah. You don't get happy for me, man. You let me know, bro. You ain't my friend, bro. But guess what? Every time you hit me up with something that's going good for you, I'm gonna celebrate you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna tell the whole world. This what happened to my homeboy. This what happened to my homegirl. Whatever the case may be. So, anyway, saying all that to say, man, I just wanna encourage y'all with that one. Don't be like that little girl, man. When something good happens for somebody, be excited for them. Real talk, it's your boy LP, a.k.a. LPZ.